They got Gunners Podcast. The Gunners Podcast. All right, people. It's 3 1 to the Arsenal. It's a good weekend. We are back for our player ratings. He do not have to listen to the candidate by himself and give about three excuses about why he doesn't feel like he's qualified to do it by himself. But yeah, we're back. And bro, I, I just want to get straight into this one, bro. I'm so ecstatic about this player ratings. I'm back. Want to make more content and let us go. Go ahead, my bro. All right. Um, so yeah, if you guys are new here, as usual, I'm gonna run through this until you guys get it in your brain. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, especially like, bro. So when you guys like the video. It helps spread the video further. Engagement. More people get to see it. So don't forget to hit that like button. Follow us at 876Gunners on Instagram and TikTok. And support us by buying us a coffee. The link is down below in the description. Arsenal versus Liverpool player ratings. Let's head right into it with David Raya. Kareem. Um... <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, not to be not to be unfair to Raya, because it is is a chaotic game. To just sum up the game first, is a is a chaotic game. Um, there are different pairs out, but Raya, apart from the apart from the Liverpool goal, where I think he could have done a little bit more to show some mm. command, um, didn't have a lot else to do. But what he did, he did well. Um, playing some high crosses, I saw that. So good job. Um, seven. Distribution good too. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling a seven. Yeah. If we did draw the game, it would have half a lower. But definitely. Um, we got the victory, so all's forgotten, all's forgiven. Dylan, any thoughts on your boy? No, I mean it was a, a solid performance. I I really enjoyed the way that he came for. He commanded his box. I mean, other than that Saliba error, but you can know that that's down to communication. And it's just a point of growth, I guess. Um, I don't think we'll see it again, hopefully. Um, but yeah, dog, the way he was coming for crosses against VVD, bro. I was like, yo, this is this brother has no fear. Um, but yeah, I agree with Terry seven. That's fair. Seven. All right. Um, what about the daddy Zinch? Picking up the line. Oh, um, Zinchenko, bro. I actually thought he had a good performance. Um, he stayed in the left back area. He was showing us his dribbling skills. I, I, he might be injured. I don't know if that's injury or it was a tactical switch. Um, but yeah, I think he had a solid game. He, I can't think of a bad moment he had. Um, which is unlike Zinchenko. He was advancing the ball. He worked really well with Jorginho. Um, mm. left side looked pretty strong again today, so I'd give him a seven just because he didn't play the whole game. Um, but yeah, mm. good game, Karim. Yeah, um, I'd actually bump that up a little bit because that many so normally, yeah, normally, normally, like his weak point is whenever he gets too adventurous and him just get careless. So I didn't see any of that today. I don't know if that was instruction, but um. He didn't really put a foot wrong. He still maintained all of his press, press resistant. Um, what we've come to know from him. Um, yeah, he did. He did pretty well. I was very surprised when Kivira came on, but I mean, if it's an injury, it's an injury. But yeah, well, I, 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 would... I don't forget to that for real because I was scared out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I said like, oh, I get too early, bro. Like, bro, I literally put in the group chat, bro. I, I was about to send a message. I was like, bro, the left side just kill our game, bro. But I just, I just said it. You know what? Let me believe. Let me believe. Mm. But yes, Karim, continue. Mm, yeah, man. So, yeah, I would, I bumped that up for Zinchenko a little bit. Not a game at eight. So we set with a seven point five. Um, Saliba. Hmm. Is this mine? Yeah, I'm gonna go at it. Um, he had a good game outside of that communication era. Um, but that's two games on the bounce now, which is not yet extremely concerning, but yet it, it is concerning. Um, 
I mean, he, he had a decent game other than that um the free kick. Remember the free kick that he got the yellow card for? Bro, if you're going to get the yellow card, bro, I want an excellent delivery, dog. Don't do some, some send the ball to the goal kick, bro. But, I mean, it was okay. Um, He was good. I don't think Gakpo was a threat. Mm-hmm. At least he didn't do anything to Saliba. Ben White helped him a lot. So, yeah, I mean, I think I was six and a half. All right, Gabriel. Um, Gabriel, Gabriel, I mean, the own goal, can't blame him at all. Um, just really unlucky. Um, but I think he was definitely the, the better out of the two. That Gakpo, the Trent cross for Gakpo, bro. And the way he did that acrobat, he, if people play PES, the acrobatic Acrobatic clearance. <laughs> that, was, that was Gabriel. So... So, yeah, bro, I'd give Gabriel a 7. All right, mm. 7.5. So, Gabriel was unfortunate, honestly, to, to have his name on the wrong side of the score sheet. Um, cause he was solid throughout. And, I mean, I did also take note of that attempt he had on goal as well. Yeah. So, yeah, like him. I, I, didn't, I didn't think Alison expected it either. But, yeah, Gabriel was unfortunate. And so, to go back to Saliba for a quick second, I... I don't know. I think there is such a thing as being overly technical. Like he seems, I don't know if it's a thing where he wants to kind of stamp his authority on the game and like make sure to kind of let the forward know that you know he he owns this zone or something like that. But there is there is really sometimes you can go back to basics. Just clear the ball out. If you're not sure about it or the distance don't look right to you, just hoof. No, no. No. So in terms of so in terms of there was no, and the same thing could have probably could be said about Van Dyke as well for Martinelli's goal. Like, why, why are you going to take that chance there? But in both think... teams, you blame the keeper before you go, Dylan. Raya, if you look back at the replay, Raya stood one spot with him, with him, with it, with him hand them stays up, right? A wait on the ball for reaching. At that point, Saliba wasn't in control of the ball. Diaz never then near the ball yet. And Raya just a wait for the ball reach him. If Raya did just come so, it nullified. You see me? Saliba do enough as a centre back for him keep and no say, yo, come and get the ball. The man, yes, bro, but... did Raya look on replay? Did Raya engage once? From him take the step forward, him, no, him literally just have him answer a wait on the ball while mm-hmm. it's rolling. That senseless, bro. You have to empty it. What are ah, listen this? What's the point of my centre back shielding the ball if my keeper now get engaged? What's the point of waiting? Just go and go get the ball. You see me? If I Ramsey, me not compare. I'm not comparing. So let me not use Ramsey. If enough other goalkeeper, they might jump to get the ball, brother. You see me? And the Alice thing now, Van Dyke made one mistake, which was to make the ball beat him in the ear initially. But after the ball beat him, it's not him fault. Because him successfully shepherded out Martinelli. Why Alice not jump? Go guys, go and watch a match review with Yaya. Yaya was right. Why Yaya jump for clear the ball then? Just kick away ball. You don't need to jump. The space is near to go and attack the ball and kick it. So for me, a two madman moments. Both centre backs were calm for me. But because... Like the two keeper them just make an error, it aga be based on communication or whatever. But as a defender, dog, if my keeper do me that me a decent big man thing, bro. I think yeah. for me, my issue is that it's right before half time. Like an exp- like a Tiago Silva. Yeah, Tiago Silva come, but Tiago Silva in him here day. That you know, if him if there's any ounce of danger, bro, like he's right in front of the goal, and Diaz is right there. And you have this is your last play, you know, say the last play at the half, bro. There's no there's no issue, bro. Just hoof it out. Ah, where am I hoof it to? Let's just use the scenario. Anywhere. Anywhere. I would do the scenario. Hoof it out. Ah, this I want to go in the light. Like a lot of people, they would say, yo, just clear the ball. But we have to look on the scenario, right? 
So initially, at what point you don't want him to carry the ball? Initially, him already a try shield. Now, what me, I guess you know, I say is him for clear the ball when him sees a Ryan now come, right? Mm -hmm. So remember, him initially already start shield. But at that point, he has a hold on for him. Him still like this. So even if him for try and clear the ball, the ball now nah, go nowhere. Good layers swing and miss. So now look for them smaller details. Eh? Unless you're not going to say to him, say, yo, the moment him see it, it for kick away, then we can say, ah. Oh. But if the man already start shield and already start wrestle, him not in a position for even try and kick with the ball, eh, bro. Him yeah, but look, how many, look how many times before that event he kicked over the ball. But That's my the, issue. You know, Saliba yeah, was so, not uh, the calm, sickle ball player. Nah, the, me nah, me would have shield the ball this, bro. I'm not like that. That's why I can't blame him. Me would have shield no, I'm not saying it's a blame thing. I just say, and plus, I didn't even want to focus on this too long. Because no, pretty, I feel like kick, taking away from the game. Way, it would have been most likely earlier on and it would have gone for your corner. Last kick I Yeah, game. but the I just don't feel like that. a man like they are supposed to be taking away the ball. Then I'm basically like, like if you're so if you're so big and whatever, like the sit my problem is like I want you, right? I want you bigger than you, bro. Don't take no chance. I'm like, don't take then. No chance. We can That's agree with you. Man underestimate Diaz. Same yeah. way, like we can how agree with that. underestimate Martinelli. We can't agree with that. Well, we can't agree with his kicking with the ball right there. So but we can't agree with but, why him 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 oh, him body the man out. You see me? I basically lead with that dog. No, but that's that was you remember that's what I spoke about with um yeah yeah as well is mm. that BVD clearly say yo Martinelli a little boy you can't take this ball from me and my keeper. It's the same thing with Saliba at first. That that's my only issue. If this was an isolated incident, then I'd have been like, oh okay, let's move on, right? But the fact that it happened twice, you say yo me bigger than everybody else in the Premier League. Nobody can touch me. If you know what I mean, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. But that's my issue. You can't make a man like Diaz. Bro, Diaz tiny the man look tiny in a bag. And you're Saliba, yes, so, bro. Did you, did you see basically so like Diaz just kind of held him and ran around him? Like yeah. that's my thing. How, how did that happen in a split second? Like he's just lost control of the whole situation. There is so Diaz should not have gotten a foot to that ball. No. Whether it is that Saliba took the decision to, I don't know, establish a different kind of zone on that side and block him out or to hoof it somewhere. Yeah, but they should not have gotten a foot to that ball. Bigger body. They kind of used to lose a bigger body in all, all kind of inter, inter um, house and everything. Bro, just, just ease him, bro. Ease him, man. Where's all the referee giving away all kind of foul, bro? The referee wasn't going to give that away, bro. So just ease off, bro. Well, yes, we can move on now. All right. Um, Benjamin Whitaker. Is my turn? Yeah, go on through. I, I, I think Ben White is back. Um, I was a bit concerned. I don't know if you saw that close up on him where you could see the whole of him like wrap up. Mm. That was a bit concerning for me still because it looked like that injury is still persisting. Um... Can't wait for the return of Timber so Ben White can get a break, bro. Like the man. Anyways, Warriors still. Good performance. Um, tired as the of this throwing thing, bro. Like every single time the man was going to throw in the ball, the referee is looking at him, bro. I, I don't like to see it, bro. Like, I know if it's like if it's that one, the ball out to other guard. You know the one that he threw it over to um what's the last line call again? I forgot. The goal line. Yeah, yeah, bro. If it's that one, I understand because that's like a set piece. But bro, in the middle of the field, bro, just throw the ball like, like you just. But anyways, Diaz was kind of dead in this game. He only had strength for Saliba. He had no strength for Ben White, so it's okay. We we'll live to see another day. All right. Anything to add, Kareem, or we just move. Oh, on. I didn't rate him seven. Yeah, seven, seven. and a half. Seven and a half. Same like yeah. Zinni. Seven is seven is fair. There was a so I mean Liverpool was in the ascendancy right after the second half started. Um and most of the threat was coming down that channel. But other than that though, solid. And the, yeah, the throwing thing really annoys me. So <laughs> bro, you think it annoy you dog if you watch match with my father, bro. <laughs> nah, if you man see bed white more you like you wanna bust a shot in the mid dog. No jokes, bro. No man yet you want to take two. Bro, bro before Bro, 
before Ben White even take up a ball for two and start cuss dog. <laughs> no jokes, dog. Um, but yeah, moving on to the pivot, Georgino and Rice. Curry. Oh my god. Um, hey man, Georgi. I wasn't necessarily surprised to see Georgina, but I saw it and I was this is before the game, and I, I felt like, all right, not a bad, not a not a bad choice for the starting. Um but yeah, he put in a man the match performance. I wasn't expecting him to have that level of authority. I think it's only one time I actually saw in the match that he put a foot wrong or like there was a misplaced, um, like a slightly misplaced pass or something. But mm. just in terms of how he kind of dictated the tempo as best as he could have um, in a Liverpool game, he did excellently. So there, I think there's one particular pass into. I think it was Martinelli or, or Havertz. And it's like that pass had no... He had no business trying to make that pass. Um, there, there's a little bit of curl on it as well. Mm, yeah, I don't no, know exactly who it was. Covered. Right, right. Yeah, man. So to, 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 to kind of run it at both sides, yeah, at, at, at his age even, is, is impressive. So I, he's my number match. I would give him a nine... Um and Declan Rice normal Declan Rice performance. So yeah, so two nines or Georgina a bit higher, but yeah. Mm. All right. Um Dylan, go to bro. I, I, I can't sing enough praises of Georgina, bro. I feel like this they should um they should put another year on his contract, bro. Because my thing is just don't sell him for that 12 million, bro. Like with a performance like today, bro, bro, it feel like twelve billion is a steal, bro. Just the composure, bro, and you can see, bro, it look like it looks like another Mikel on the field. If you get what I mean, bro, it's like the way, the way the man, the way the man talking to, like every time you see a close up with Georgina in the game, bro, he's giving instructions, bro, and I'm like, bro, that's him and other guard, bro, other guard in the front. Georgina, bro, it was it was special, bro. It was special to see that kind of performance like that, bro. And he made Odegaard look better. He gave Odegaard some passes in some zones that we haven't seen him in in a while, bro. Mm. Right. The man was linking up with Havertz really well, giving him ball after ball, even though Havertz go away, it's all of them. It's, it's fine. But, you know, the man was just providing, bro. And I don't know, bro. I think he definitely should get another year. Because El Nenny needs to cut and then just give Georgina. Give Georgina the El Nenny role, bro, if he wants to. So, so, so yeah, bro, I'd, I'd he, fully agree with In the Prem, him not staying. That's the only reason why him come here. That's the only thing he never had win. So, if him win the Prem, there's no need for him to carry on. He can just go. And we're not going to need him either to win the Prem. Just True. move on. So... Make us see still them time they are conversations for for men, but yeah, what was the rating for him? Nine. I think De- Declan Rice defensively it was a great performance. I don't think in the other end of the field it was as good. Um, so I'd give him my eight point five. I think yeah. Georgina definitely is my man of the match. I'm playing better. Yeah, it's a, it's really actually amazing. Like you look at Chelsea having their midfield struggles with like two hundred million dollars worth of of talent and. Yeah, and Georgina is here. How much cost? 12. <laughs> yeah, and able to kind of tear it up and have like that kind of day against Liverpool. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Shambles Club. Four. Nah, my man didn't get four back to back now from Wolves, bro. But <laughs> what we that? Martin Odega, Captain. Karim. Um, this is the most. Is the most active i've seen him in a while which is saying something um so that pass to Havertz for the first goal that was that was that was beautiful so that entire passage of play was 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 wonderful um i wish so even though we know it's not going to go well i wish he would take a shot at his right foot sometimes <laughs> yeah. like anytime just 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 try <laughs> worst case scenario it will, it will reach a corner flag but just try um but yeah, not it was a it was a good performance. Not quite the captain's performance. It's not like he didn't. Oh no, that's not that's not fair. But I don't know. I, I feel like something is missing. I would rather. Yeah, see... bring up this captain performance thing. Now, what yeah. one more one man for do? 
The yeah, man, I don't know. Hold on. I don't know. The man, no. fraud, the man yeah. supply, the man name for go score goal and never yet can score. Last week, the man gave Jesus a brilliant goal for go score and the man miss. This week, the man the average sit on him miss. They're in the top mm. of oh, the guard numbers when he might give play them assists and them not. Keep your pass. Two or five yeah. man yes, go, 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 captain. No. One more. No, more. okay, okay, okay. No, hold like, on, man. Hold on, man. No, no, no. You have to listen to me. When you feel like him a Vera, the man is an attacking player. When you know, you get the same Vera thing. So just look on, brother. The man is exactly what we need as a captain in this team. And then we we'll have other leaders. Rice is a leader. Georgie, you know, Very literally. Cool. Has, to the team talk before you see me one more you want the man are weary arm man and the man are lead from the front mm. and uh we, what 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 ah, tell me all right yeah, all right put it this, yeah, this yeah, put, all right. no uh, all right so this is not this is this is not to subtract from anything that he has done so far we're set to, we're set today but you know the ceiling that he is possibly capable of there is still there's still a there's still a gap so I'm not taking anything away from him, but there's a gap. I want him to just kind of bridge that gap. True. And guess what? No. I disagree. Really? Watch, yeah. watch, you know, a true thing I'm talking about, guess what? He's 25 this year. Is that what I'm saying? Man is 25. When me and Kevin De Bruyne at 25, maybe I play like how other guys play. Kevin De Bruyne really start getting at them debate about a month, two and a half year ago. In it bad before, you know? But them wicked debate where you want other guards to reach, Deborah never reached that till him around 28. Bro, just go on, watch your man. No, man. De- 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 That's a different comparison, though. So, Deborah is, De is, is, is his own footballer. Fine. But I am just looking at Odegaard, where he is right now and thinking where he could be. There's a, there's a, it's tiny, but it's. I guess what? So, the man him have, 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 have a different level. The man have whole eat more years for gain the level there. All our players them have a different level where them can go higher except Averts. No, you bro. You don't this Averts, bro. Uh, Averts have Averts can't yeah, go higher than we Averts them. Me, I tell you that. I'm not taking it back. And nothing wrong with that. He's a good little squad player for Av. Can play in any position. Nothing wrong with that, Dylan. And everybody are going to be world beaters. Bro, beater. look at this scene, dog. Bro, so you were tell me, say Kai Averts has the potential to be a world beater. Say that right no, now. Yes, no, I know. No, Dylan, stop. Listen to this. Dylan Gale, does Kai Havertz have the ability to become a world beater? Yes or no? By himself? Yes or no? By himself? What, what's the context? Dylan, yes or no? Does yes. he? Yes. No, bro. No, bro. Karim, you believe him have the ability to become a world beater? I would like to see it. Put it this way. I would like to see that. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> based off based, based off of current evidence, I don't know exactly how that guy happened because we will get to Kai Havertz because I was yeah man, I, I was I would like to see it dog. I would not I was not pleased after he scored. I'm sorry, I was not pleased after the first goal scored. But we'll get to him. See him, you see me? I ah man. So let's move on. What uh where's that nigga? Oh rating bro, I need my time. Other guard, bro. Rating for other Karim. Um, all right, in keeping with what I'm saying, it was an eight out of ten performance, but I would like to see the nine. But um, what else was he supposed to do? No, Dylan, got you, got you. No, but, no, I continue, want to continue. hear objectively what was he supposed to do differently. Remember, we had we had a we had a reverse of this exact same conversation before. No, but tell me what is he supposed what what is that? What is that thing? I want, I want it quantifiable. The man say it to me if you use him right foot more. The man say it, bro. That that's one, that's one thing. Who he is. Bro, middle business. That, that is it. Right. Uh, me, I know I did him with that. One thing alone. Every time I see the man control a ball, when could I use him right and cut him, I diss him. Brawl him. So, that's the only problem I really have with so him. Hold on, that takes a whole rating away, one point away from him? From becoming a world beater, yeah. I love, mm. love two-footed baller. I don't like one footballer. But say it all the time. So move on. You're rating now, bro. Thoughts bro, on the it, it, at least 8.5, bro. The man was the man controlled that midfield, bro. 
Bro, he was literally the reason that I feel won that game, bro. He was the difference. Bro, the man created two big chances and three other chances, bro. The man was great on the day, bro. Like, there's nothing, bro, that give you a pass, bro. Bro, harsh. We're not harsh. The Havertz pass was a peach. And he almost got the one for Trussard in the end, bro. Like, come on, man. Come on. Come on, that was a captain's performance, bro. I haven't, I haven't seen Odegaard like that in a while. And you know I'm always critical of Odegaard, bro. So, it's going to go on. All man. right, just pause it here. Just check in on a Gary Jamie Carragher comment after the match. This guy's so Oh, sad. yeah. <laughs> Jamie Carragher and Arsenal's captain, uh, Martin Odegaard, taking photos of the club photographer after full, full time. Just get down the tunnel. <laughs> You've won the game. It's three points. <laughs> You've been brilliant. You're back in the title race. Just get down the tunnel. <laughs> yeah, what salty that well, I um, well, um, well, put, put it this way. Whenever, whenever the celebration police come out, that's your that's your cue that you're doing something right. Exactly. Fully. Yeah, man. Fully, bro. Literally. <laughs> Caught in 4K, my side. 4K. Moving on. Um to the wingers. Martin Lee and Saka, both on the score sheet. Karim, picking up with you. Um, yeah, so I I hope the, the Saka injury is not serious. Um I'm hope, hoping it's just quote unquote just cramp, but um I I like what I've seen about with Saka's positioning recently. So um I don't know if it's I don't know if it's instruction again or if it's just kind of his solution to the the misfiring attack that's been going on. I'm not quite sure, but it's he's been pretty good with his with his, with his positioning. Um, he scored. I, I I think he he handled himself pretty well. I would I would also give him an eight as well. And Martin Eddie, to to kind of manufacture that chance out of what should have become that i was surprised when when the ball fell to him but to just kind of have that level-headedness about him um also excellent i'm still thinking about a, a 8.5 for martinelli 8.5 all right it was tremendous all the first half then man pse that connected on me win brawling suck off a book that in it till but i'm not killing um and finally dylan got you ratings um, I mean, personally, Martinelli was, the man was rapid. The man was rapid, bro. I wish that he, uh, Mikel would have probably left him on for a little bit more. Um, or brought on Smith Rowe in his place. But anyway, that's, that's different. I'm just picking up. Man, replacement but... score, bro. You're so ungrateful. Yeah, but I feel like you could have scored if he was down in the middle as well. Anyway, that's not the point. That's not the point. Martin, he was just electric, bro. Like, Trent didn't even look like he wanted... Like, you know, normally Trent would try. This time, Trent never even bought a try, bro. And that's that's how you know, bro. Like, the man was... The man just love a game against Klopp, bro. He's like, Klopp motivating, bro. And even mm -hmm. when you saw them at the end, bro. But the man was just class. Fantastic, bro. Um, Soccer. You can see that he's, he's dropping deeper. So that he has more space to cover and that a defender really has to go far. He's not as much just put on the wing and then just the cross ball. Um, I'd love to see his heat maps from today, bro. But defensively, Saka was on it, bro. Martinelli as well. Um, the goal was good, you know. Backing up the backing up Havertz, bro. Because I guess it makes sense still if it's Havertz. You know, you don't really expect him to score. So, mm -hmm. you know, you should be in and around it, bro. Um, but yeah, just fantastic by Saka, fantastic by Martinelli. They did everything I'd, I'd want them to do in a game against Liverpool. Composed, didn't lose a ball much. Um, knew when to give it up. They weren't holding it like one time, trying to beat a man when they three people on him, bro. It was just, it was just class. I think I'd give the two of them 8.5. No, I'd give Saka 8 and then Martinelli 8.5. Ah, uh, cool. Who get the assist them again? So Kai get one assist. Trussard don't even count that because he take it from offline. Allison. <laughs> no, it's Gabriel. It's Gabriel pass. 
Uh, so speaking about Averts, Kareem, thoughts on his performance? Right. So as soon as so as soon as I saw Saka score, my immediate thought was, why did Saka even need to be the, need exactly. to be the one to finish it? Like it, it, this is what you're supposed to, you're. This is a part of the reason why you're here. We cannot be touting Havertz as being um, multi-positional. You know, can play striker, can be attacking midfielder. If he's not going to be playing as a striker and then shooting a ball at the at the goalkeeper, you can't. I thank you. He should have been the one to bury that. Just playing and simply neutral take it. But separate and aside from that, the so I appreciate his contribution to the dark arts, but there are some he could have easily have also been sent off. Um so sometimes you take it a little bit too far. Big of feel that from the game you're still. Alberts. Oh, you mean the McAllister thing? There, yeah, there was so there's a few so Okay. No, bro, yeah. that was great. That's awesome. Leave it on him, bro. I like it, bro. But never <laughs> feel a potential return from 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 over. No feel it from the back line. Like with 20 minutes for go, me I say, yo, red card in the game. That have yo, what you must stop betting at that? <laughs> yo, John, you know yo, that you must stop betting at that. 20 minutes to go, me literally I said, that uh, red card in the game, you know that. And see the stinking corner to go get the red, bro. No, I don't feel like he was going to get a red card this game at all. No, no, it's it's yeah, but there's all so it felt a bit closer to to uh um okay we got away with that rather than a controlled um performance. But also I would like to have seen him way more incisive in the penalty area, which I didn't see that much today. So it's a bit middling. It's not he didn't he was not terrible. But there is so much more that he could have done, which I, I think that's been the case of him from a long time ago. From a long time I feel ago. like as an individual, he didn't play well. But you don't expect that from him. But he did raise up the level of everybody around him. He he did what the manager instructed him to do. Like, I don't think Mikel was telling him, be a gunman. Because he's not. He was just like, yo, make, make life hell for the defenders, which he did. Right? The man, the man literally got Kanata sent off. Right, and the man was troubling VVD. He was running the channels too. Like, bro, it's, it's hovers, bro. Like, you have to, you have to temper your expectations. The man is a passenger to our team. Just, just accept it. Um. Yeah, that that statement takes a little bit of unpacking, but all right, fine. But <laughs> up, overall, overall though, he he, I mean, he passed. So he was, as I say, he wasn't terrible, but he was not. Great. So yeah, yeah. pick up here a little bit still. Uh, maybe upset when he missed a chance. Eh? But at the end of the day, after that, the, the man occupied the center box them well. Him do the dirty work. Impressing was good. Impressing him was draw, good. Him draw the second yellow, which we did well want. So the man do only them, them small uh art it as a man will love talk about duels. Mm-hmm. Them small things. Then small thing that make a big difference in our game. The effort, the passion, being able to do them small thing that I want to make you win a football match. Arsenal had brilliant players back then. We had the Sanchez's, we had the Erzil, we had players where just pump paper it and look on it and say, ah, we can do something here. But we never have them little thing that Ozil is not a man we would wanna do them little thing that after the ball. You see me? And that's why we never succeed. You see me? Apart from the one season when Giroud just decided to be a total and utter disgusting piece of shit, right? I'm still and he was at the stadium today. I mean, the nerve to be there, yeah. You see me, I'm still not forgive him for that because Ozil, I'm a ball, and if Ozil, 19 assists this season, there, bro. If the man did just do the right, Ozil would have a prim. So, man, this Giroud for life. But, yeah, moving on. You need them player, there, bro. You see me, dog? You need them player, there, dog, so... More more than average at uh, uh, eight, bro. It no, it, the man performance. It now have a assist or it now have a this or it now have a that tonight, but it did need it today, bro. No jokes. You see me? Right. I, never, I have a question. I know when Jesus even play against side like this, you don't really see him with one bag of flicks. Him keep it simple. Him hold it. Him him play the ball off. I just going to eat that mint. Then you see him one like him one, but. There isn't a big difference as to how Jesus would have played. Him, him occupy the centre back them, 
him, him do everything. If Jesus maybe would have missed that, don't feel like Jesus would have to score that. Jesus is not, bro, and if especially against Allison, especially against Allison, don't feel like Jesus would have to score that dog. I guess to be fair, no, I don't expect I don't I don't expect Jesus to score any reasonably straightforward chance. <laughs> yeah. So why so why expect Hammer to even score? Yeah, exactly, where is up on him right foot? So that's why I mean I say yo. That when we see my go through, best believe I'm prepared for miss already, you know. So when he miss my knee, because but don't near X me I said this is not a score. Not a... No, <laughs> like, that's you're trying to be true. Yo, no, like to be true. Mind, uh, yo, this is not a score. Not a... You see me? But yeah, moving on to the substitutes. We are running out of time here. Um Trossard, give your Trossard nine. No, eight and a half. Another goal from a substitute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, give your bro, I'd give Kivior a 10 just because the man never shook up the game, dog. The man was actually decent, like, like this was a performance that I'm like, oh Jano, like I wouldn't actually sell you. <laughs> but um, yeah, bro, I was I was really Mikel did a fantastic job with the substitutions, it was well informed. Whatever he told them at halftime, you know, he was just like, or Whatever you told him at around 60 minutes. Because I don't know if that the team talk at halftime worked. But the 60 minute mark, bro. So yeah, I I think they were both fantastic on the day, bro. Mm -hmm. And Reese Nelson as well. Nelson. Okay, well did this thing, so. Yeah. Um, Kari, thoughts on the subs? I mean, that's that's fair. So this um I guess so one of those instances where what Mikel says about having healthy competition for each position is definitely happening with the Trossard Martinelli position because for, for both of them to score, um, you have to kind of lift your hat to that. So um, I really like I really like seeing Trossard's directness. I like seeing I like seeing when he has a, that's to try and finish um, something which normally I guess many other players wouldn't even think about. But yeah, um, I agree with those scores. All right, another goal against Liverpool for Trussard. Yeah, he loves that game against Liverpool. He, they call him daddy, bro. No jokes. Um, <laughs> I don't lie, I don't lie, with Fab. Uh, but yeah, manager rating, Karim. Um, so I think because Liverpool is Mikel's bogey team of sorts, well, big six bogey team. Hmm? Um, you mean one of many? You know, yeah. One of many. Well, <laughs> one of two. <laughs> so, all right. You're Pep Daddy and Jurgen Father. Yeah, man. But he, he, he. The decisions he made were bold again today, but they, they paid off. Um, as well as I don't know what he said at halftime, but he would have had to have kind of brought back some level of calm to 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 the team after the own goal. I don't know if it exactly worked based on how the game was. Second like half, he did say for MCB, NBC. Mm. He basically, did I say or oh, tell them say or oh, them can't feel sorry for themselves because if them go back out feeling sorry for themselves, Liverpool will come out come kill them. So he basically just tell them that and tell them continue to do what they want to do. You see me and forget about that because we don't did a kill them already. So just go back out go kill. Them. You see me. So yeah. Yeah, can you do give tens? Moving on. Dylan. Bro, sign him up right now, dog. Right, right now. Sign him up. Sign Did the that... contract extension. They need to offer it right now. This second, bro. Sorry, action here, dog. Man of only part time. Give him until the end of the season and see what he do. Bro, but you know. he's going to come in, bro. Trans the man dog, you ain't need to say that after we beat Liverpool. Say that after we win the league. That's what I talk about when we say reactionary. Okay, sorry. Um yeah, no, I, I, I agree with Karim. I'd give a nine. I don't really know what else you could have done to get out. I mean, what, what else could he have done to get the ten? It's not it's not a Premier League game win, so it's a nine. <laughs> Fully. Uh man, who ever play in it? West Ham. West Ham. When we play? London when we Stadium. We'll see when we are playing. Um, they man spam them. Sunday. Sunday. 
Oh, so we have a full week. You know, we can do our next preview in that time. So, yeah, well, you guys will check out the video, the player, the match review video with Yaya, the Liverpool fan. Um, and yeah, that's it for this episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Remember to like the video. If you watch this and you don't like the video, I'm not going to say what you are on here. You see me, but know that you are that. Um, don't forget to follow us at 876Gunners on Instagram and TikTok and support us by buying us a coffee. The link is below in the description. Coffee cheap, bro. $2, $3, $5. Sometimes you can have a $10 coffee if you're that kind. You see me? Some rich folks can give a $20 or $30 coffee, but you have cheap ones too. So just support us. And yeah, that's it for this episode. Don't. Bye bye. <laughs> They got Gunners Podcast. The Gunners Podcast.